stone and cobblestone are probably the most important resources in all of Minecraft. They use from everything, from pistons to dispensers, to even building. It's used for absolutely everything. So it's very important to have an easy way to get them. And today I'm going to give you two very easy and simple ways to get it. So let's get right into the video. We're going to start by looking at the setup. So both of these designs don't exactly require a beacon with phase two, but the beacon with phase two makes it way quicker as it allows you to instant mine any stone. As if we come here, but as you can see, it absolutely instant mines that stone. Cobblestone's a bit slower to mine, but all the stone is instant mineable if you have a haste 2 beacon. So I'd recommend getting one of those. It's a bit of a challenge, but just try as it really improves the rates of these farms. But now let's get into what these two designs actually are. So I like to call this design the simple one or the upgraded simple one actually. So it's a pretty standard simple one and it has lava at the top which flows down onto the water. And then the water has an upgrade of having signs here and as they're waterlogged, it means that you can use this in ice biomes and the water won't freeze. You don't even need to have a light source near it. And also, I've added this little thing on here so that when you break a block, it dispenses some XP. Just so your pickaxe will never break while using it. So let's show it using it. And as you can see, it repairs instantly. It does give you a bit extra XP. That's fine. And then you also get your levels up. Then all of the stone just goes into this chest. And overall, it's very good, simple stone farm for beginners and something like that. So if you need a little bit of stone for something. So let's get straight into the tutorial. All the materials you'll need for this farm on the simple one are on my hotbar. So you'll need 29 building blocks. I just use glass as it makes it easier to see in and I think it looks cool. You'll need two chests, but you can of course add more storage if you want. But double chests is enough really for the uses of this farm. Five hoppers, six signs, all trap doors, one water bucket, and one lava bucket. Actually, you'll need two water buckets to make an infinite water source. So, let's get to building it. So, you're going to start by placing two chests down like that. So, they form a double chest. Then, you're going to come into the back of it, and you're going to place two hoppers going into it. So, both facing into it, and you can tell from the little nozzle at the end. Then, we're going to place three more hoppers coming off that so it forms a line kind of like this all of them going into this chest here and you can test that by throwing something in the back end it should come up in this chest but anyway now what we're going to do is we're going to want to have some temporary blocks but i'll just use this going to want to place some blocks down here and these can be your building blocks or glass then we're going to come up here, place one block there and one on top. This is a temporary block, just like that. Then we can extend this long, so it's five blocks long too. So we create a nice diagonal pattern like this. Then another temporary block and one on top, just like that. And this will create the end of it. And then we can do that same on this side, just like that. Oops, I accidentally broke that. And then what we can do, is we just finally come on top, place another temporary block and we do the top part of it like this. So it forms a nice tunnel here with one side missing. Now we can come to on top of this chest and place two glass blocks. These do have to be glass blocks or stair blocks or slab blocks, but I'd recommend glass blocks. Then we're going to extend this five long again and then we're also going to finish off this bit here. Forms a little tunnel here. Then we can extend this one more block. And then we can place one sign right there. Now we will actually want to remove one of these blocks. Now up on top of this thing, you'll want to place five glass blocks just like that. And then one block there, right at the end. Now what you can do is hop down here and remove this glass block. Then we can go in and place all the signs down this aisle. So that they go in. We can't reach out one, so let's just do these ones first. Then we can go round to the other side and place in the last sign just like that. 
Then we can take this final glass block. We will need to use a temporary block here. So it's just place one down there. And then place final glass block there. And this is the farm almost complete. Now we just have to place one water bucket there. One water bucket there. Pick up that. Make an infinite water source. And there. They're all filled in. Now what you want to do is just place in the middle of this tube you want to place one lava bucket like that and it should convert the water bits here to stone just like this and water should start fl stop flowing now and if you want you can put a sign here but it isn't that much of a deal so then you can just mine like this and by the time you come to mining blocks again it'll have regenerated so you can get a nice steady supply of stone in here and that is the simple one done and this is used for more purposes where you want to get a few building blocks or you want to craft a few pistons and stuff like that so let's move on to the other design if you want to add in the xp restocking it's pretty simple all you do is you come to this place here where the player would stand and then you move over this glass block and then break it just like that then facing into the stone block here where the chair side is if you're going to open it just place the uh, observer so that the red dot should be facing you when you go to open the chest then behind it place one block another block next to it so like that then on top of these blocks you place two redstone dots just like that and then finally when you're in the player station you look towards that block and you place a dispenser like that and it's done now you just need to fill this dispenser with all your xp bottles and it'll restock your pickaxe your ability when it gets broken from mining the blocks in this farm this is the design i like to call the in wall design as you can integrate it into a wall so basically i've got a standard wall here not much decoration but it's a wall nonetheless and basically what happens is you just see a layer of stone blocks here no lava no water no bulky contraption that's all hidden by the wall all you have to do is just mine blocks like this and they get pushed out to you for the next batch and then all the stone ends up in here and this is a contraption it's pretty simple still just adds a bit of redstone to it so let's get into the tutorial for this one to start building the in wall stone farm you're going to want to place six blocks in a row and these will be your building blocks then you want to take a temporary block and place three of them on each end just like this then on top of each of them place another three blocks three on each end and then you can just take your pickaxe and then remove those temporary blocks just like that then what you're going to want to do is another temporary block and place a little lid over each of those things that's where the water is going to go now you're going to want to take your pistons and place four of them in a line just like this and the direction that the wooden face is facing is the way that the stone will be going now what you want to do is on top of the pistons place four solid blocks just like that and then put another solid block on either end then carry this back one more block just like this now you can do another temporary block and then just fill this in four blocks along like that this is where the lava will go now what you want to do is take your water and just place in one there and one there just like that it will make a bit of a mess at the moment but don't worry you can place some blocks in there at the moment if you don't want it leaking out and then finally on top of here place four lava buckets just like that and now if you remove these temporary blocks from your pickaxe then you should see that it turns to stone well if this works properly there just like that so it turns to stone now you want to come up here and on one side of the end bit place one block out and on top of that place one lever and just leave it like that 
Then bring your redstone dust and your repeaters and place two on this end and two on that end. Finally, go in with a repeater, place one repeater on vortex and then carry that down to the redstone dust just like this. So you should see the arrows pointing from the lever through this. And then go around the redstone dust and place some repeaters going back all set onto four ticks just like that now what you can do is quickly flick that lever like that and you should see a little redstone clock like that going around and that's what it should be like actually we're actually going to remove these ones and replace them with redstone dust for a quicker one and now it will push these forwards and this is fine at the moment, you can stop it here if you like. You also have to put some unmovable objects, like a furnace or maybe something like a chest even. That would work. Just any unmovable block. So it'd work like that. Now what you want to do is wait for the piston push limit. And when you get to the piston push limit, then that's when you're going to want to build the next part. A quick note here, quickly place two more blocks on this end, place these two blocks with reds and dust, and add one more repeater, like that, on four ticks. And then it should work again. So here it is, going forwards and forwards, and eventually it will stop when it reaches the push limit. And you can just keep mining at the moment if you want to get a few blocks while you wait. So sh soon, when it reaches 12 blocks long, then it'll just stop moving. Now we just want to check, is that the push limit? And this seems to be the push limit. Now what you want to do is take your chest and place two right in the middle. Well, two like that, so it forms a double chest right in the middle of this line. Then, going out of it, you can remove this line. What you can quickly do Go and switch that on if you want. Then break this line here and place two hoppers going into the chest. And on either side, place one more hopper going into those. So it forms this line. And if you throw an item into any of these hoppers, it should all end up in this chest, just like that. Now it's almost finished. What you can do here is you can build up a wall around this and it is an in-wall machine. So you can't actually see the actual machine. All you see is just a little bit of stone like that. So if we just let this stop, which we'll have to do by breaking one of these repeaters. If we just set that to a vortex then. There. Now, all you see on this side is this row of stone like this, and you can just mine like that. And then it'll just push forwards again. And this could be any wall, most likely in your base. It's very small, compact looking, because all machinery is out back. I hope you like this tutorial, and if you want any more tutorials, then please just comment down below what one you would like to see next. And good bye. Oh yeah, please consider subscribing, as really helps out and lets you see more of these tutorials. Thanks!